There it is. Hello everyone, welcome back. Week 6? Attempt 20? What has been going on with the dungeon? So, for anyone that hasn't been here in a while, we're on run 20. Our best run is still attempt 4, where we only had 5 bosses left. The We almost did it! We almost did it 16 runs ago! Uh, here we are, this world first challenge on attempt number 20. Uh, these have not been great attempts. We have This is the furthest we've gotten since run 8. Week 6 is the furthest we've gotten since run 8, so... Uh, we'll see what, what happens. Uh, hey, Casca. Including DLC? Yes, including DLC. We're doing all bosses, all DLC, and we had a... Run number 4, we only had 5 bosses left in the, in, in the game. <sighs> Alright. Oh, that's true. Um, let, let's, let's try that really quick. Uh, so there is this new thing. I haven't set them all up yet. But... If anyone wants to hear Cletus, it's on a it's on a long cooldown. But if enough people type exclamation Cletus close together, it has to be more than five five or more people. If you all if you do that, hey everybody, my name is Cletus. Anybody want some cornbread? <laughs> so the other one, I've only done this with one other one. If enough people spam exclamation Xmas. Exclamation XMAS. Five or more people. It's a long cooldown. It's a Christmas miracle. So the thought here is anytime that I say that without realizing it, or if something um something big happens in the dungeon, like a big RNG moment, you can you can do if enough people type exclamation Xmas, it'll play that. But it is a 10 minute cooldown because I didn't want them super spammed. Um so right now there's two new command sound bites. But they, it is a vote command, so enough people have to use it close together for it to trigger. Which I think is kind of cool. Go find a cornbread clip. <laughs> hey, R-squared, how's it going? What's up, R-squared? Do you want to talk about it? You, you don't got to. If you don't want to, of course, if you want to, by all means. But, uh, sorry, R-squared. Sorry, R-squared. Won't help. Well, I mean... Like I said, if you want to share for any reason, whether it will uh, will help or not, but sorry, I squared. Spam bots ready to invoke cornbread on demand. So, uh, so we finished at week six, and uh, w this run hasn't been going that great. Um, I mean, it's been better than a lot of the other ones. Uh, we do need to grab that other Vestal, I think. All right, let's see where we were here. Um, so we do have two Crusaders. Uh, man, I kind of want all these. We, we absolutely need to take the other Vestal, though. Unless she's just, like, crap, you know? Like, no, nah, she's fine. It's a fine Vestal. Um, I could expand this, but it's... We're not on track to get the bank. Like, we have gotten so few heirlooms compared to normal. Like, hopefully we still get the bank on week 10. Um, but I definitely don't want to trade in things and lose out on it. I might just drop Seeker. Like, he would cost money anyway to get him back in good shape. He does have Evasive, which would be nice for the final, you know, Dark Dungeon 4. But it's, it's not super needed because he's going to be guarded the whole time anyway. Like, only AoE will hit. Think has had the most deaths with all your playtime. Vestal, absolutely, hundred percent. But I mean, it's kind of, it's it's an easy, it's an easy call because I use Vestals more than anything else because it's just it's just used more. Um, over my, over the course of playing, like if you did it based on percentage, like if you, if you kind of extrapolated it or whatever, you know, each class, let's say you you extend it out to the same number of uses as the Vestal sort of thing, like what. Uh, I, don't, I don't know, like, percentage of battles with that character or something. It would probably be Jester of Vestal still. Probably. But uh, without doing that, Vestal, absolutely. Um, so I gotta take this Vestal. Claustrophobia. God-fearing. Uh, I'm gonna drop Seeker's Hand. So you have lost all the you have used. Get up in the queue. Please don't make me a hyphen. 
You know what's going to happen now. Your fate, your luck is going to determine that you will be a high one. I, I don't choose when it comes up. I just, whatever, whoever's next, whatever class I'm grabbing. But uh, if there's an option, I'll try to avoid it. All right, let's do this. Hey, Ant Atlas, welcome back. All right, uh, let's go see what's up. Uh, definitely don't want the crucifix or the youth chalice. Um, we'll probably just go back to the cove, actually. Reason for the end of a run for me. <laughs> so, uh, is that why you're asking about most common class to die? Uh, all right. How's this new vestal? Uh, I think I think I'm gonna buy the surgeon's charm. The the problem is the surgeon's charm. We won't use it forever. It helps us now, but we won't use it forever. So eventually, it'll be wasted gold. When we get uh, Junia's head and um, sacred scroll, this won't be used anymore. Of course, who knows when we're gonna get those? You know, or any part of that. It might be week thirty before we get either of those trinkets. We don't know. So I should probably just go for it. So let's go ahead and go to the cove. We'll take Din. Uh, we don't really have good stress relief yet. Like, Himuel would be our best, but uh, that's not really great. We'll take Lolek. Himuel is going to start out with... How much stress? 53. Because Tet's level 0, Tet would start out with 25. So Himiel is going to start out with double that amount of stress. I don't know. There is a camp in here, and they're just going to be stronger overall. And we're still trying to, uh, we're still really trying to stabilize, so. Yeah, this will be fine. Let's do it. First run of the night. Is there such thing? Yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking. All the food, stack of shovels, stack of herbs. Uh, three keys, one holy water should be fine. So we got food, shovels, curio interaction. Um, let's get it on. Let's get it on. I got a haircut before I started feeling bad. So now it feels like my ha my head's like 10 pounds lighter, even though it was only like two inches of hair gone. Hey Dylan, a little bit better. Blame it on the haircut. <laughs> I don't think that was it. All right, let's do this. The Samson <laughs> virtue. So what? And I've never had long hair. So what you're saying, R squared, is I should grow my hair out really long, and and see just how powerful I become. They must be flushed out. Good scout. Um, medium dungeon. So there's a 50% chance of a secret room. We haven't found a secret room yet this run. Be unstoppable. Maybe I'll try that out. Carl. The T-Rex, the crabby arms. <laughs> Um, we need to kill the Drown Thrall, most importantly, but this guy is super buff, and this is a stress caster. I'm gonna stun the buff guy. It's Carl. Carl, I haven't seen you in forever. Last time you got, you cut your hair was 9 to 10 years ago. Any amount? Like, not even, like, trimmed at the, the ends? <laughs> We're fine. As the fiend falls, a faint hope Why are you saying hey, hey, hey? Hey, hey, hey. Trim the ends occasionally. New Pepsi flavors. Mango, lime, and berry. There's there's so many berries. What berry do they mean? Berry. Berry flavored. Uh... We'll blight this one. So how Master, uh, I think he's probably fine stress healing for the rest of this, depending on what happens here. Yeah, it should be all right. This guy's still buffed though for one more round. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Berries and cream. Man, chocolate, cherry, I don't like Dr. Pepper too much. Like, I, I don't hate it, but it's not one of my favorites. But cherry, chocolate, Dr. Pepper was good. It's like really good. And I know they have cherry still, but I don't think they have the chocolate cherry one. That was a long time ago. Uh, in fact, back then, 
when uh, when that came out, they had a commercial on TV, probably on the internet too, I'm sure, um, of that Tay, Tay Zonde or whatever is his name. The Chocolate Rain guy. He did a commercial for Dr. Pepper about the cherry chocolate Dr. Pepper. And he was literally singing Cherry Chocolate Rain. Only it was like upbeat. I don't want to kill him yet because I want to get a heal in. Does anyone else remember this? <laughs> Probably find it on YouTube, I'm sure. Go first. Vaguely. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. All right, let's see what we got. Carl, it's Carl. Uh, there are so many bleeds in this game. Like, Nervous Bleeder is pretty bad. All these are not great. There's none that are like, you know, top tier annoying, <laughs> I guess you'd put it. Uh, these aren't really a big deal. Hagio Media is kind of annoying too. But really, Nervous Bleeder is the worst here. Paranormal Media is kind of crappy. Uh, Thanatophobia can be annoying. So we're gonna try to get rid of Nervous Bleeder, but no matter what they get rid of, it'll be good. So, but just not, look at this. This is the first Eerie Coral we found this playthrough. I can tell because this has a question mark. Hey, Goggle, welcome in. How are you doing, Goggle? Paranormania, that's fine. Then we're going to rub some herbs on this dead fish also. You're top tier annoying. <laughs> top tier annoyance. We'll probably camp early, get our scouting up. Uh, we want to see fights with Pelagic Guardians. Yeah, like this. This guy. So the Pelagic Guardian uh, doesn't have a like really big crit chance. Like, yeah, he can crit just like anything can. Well, almost anything. But, uh, especially an Apprentice, it's pretty low. It's probably one of the lowest crit chances in the Cove, at least, I would guess. And, uh... So... And he's also high, has high protection. So once he's the last one up, we can actually like stall on him a little bit and uh, stress heal and heal back up in general. I'm going to kill these two guys first though, of course. Uh, and we'll just alternate the stuns here. Make sure none of these groupers are getting to crit us, hopefully. Ooh, man. 16 non-crit. Six heal. Alright, one grouper down. Give them no quarter. Um Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and attack this one. I was thinking about going ahead and starting to stress heal, but my head's hurting a little bit. Uh hey middle thug, how's it going? Replicators or the golds or the wraith? Who are your favorites? I kind of like the Gawuld, actually. Um, I don't know. That's a hard one, though. I haven't watched it in so long. The Replicators was like a cool thing, but it's also something similar has also been done a lot. And uh, I don't know. The Replicators kind of suffered from that uh, Deus Ex Machina thing. Is that what it's called? I can't remember. Where... Uh, like it was all they were almost too powerful like it was they were they were made to be so unstoppable that there had to be like this very key very specific oh this thing Makina, thank you dylan i can remember um oh this exists lucky us like a plot device sort of thing so i'm not sure ricks i i would like to watch sg1 again it's been years last time i watched sg1 my daughter was a year old Thank you. I've only ever read it, so. That's why I tell people when they're when they're typing or saying things in here if it's wrong, like don't worry about it. Continue the onslaught. I mean I don't mind you let me know what it what it is, but I've only ever read it. So now we can stall on this guy. We just need to hit him with two weak attacks around. Gold Ori Replicators. Yeah, I mean, that that might be mine, too. I don't know. I like the gold, gold part of it. Like, I mean, that's where it all kind of started, so maybe it's a little bit biased, you know? 
but uh, reading only local patterns are super interesting. Yeah, I mean, I've been made fun of before for saying things that I had only that I had learned through reading. So I I never do that. Um, like if I hear someone say the wrong thing, I never like laugh at them sort of thing. Like correcting is fine if you're doing it in a in a positive sense. Obviously, I don't mind that. Um, but I've absolutely had people like make fun of because you pronounce a word incorrectly that you had only ever read. It's like. So if someone does that, they've probably learned the word through reading rather than uh, through audio sources. You used to pronounce tome like tomb? Yeah, I can see that. If you don't humans, I think, yeah, <laughs> sounds, sounds about right for you. Do that a lot. You fall back to their primary language. Melee incorrectly because you had only seen it. Yeah, me too. Um, the big one there is when Smash Brothers Melee came out. Me and my friends call it Smash Brothers Melee when we were waiting, waiting for it. Like when we were reading it in Nintendo Power or whatever. Smash Brothers Melee. And then it came out and on the opening screen, Super Smash Brothers Melee. And I was like, Melee? <laughs> that's, that's not right. This game got it wrong. to sleep with your stream now. Been here for 10 minutes. <laughs> You're sleepy already. Uh, well, hopefully that's a good thing, Cam. Melee and then a lot say melee. Language in general is pretty interesting. Any inside about DD2? Can't wait to watch you stream. Hey, Hong. Um, no, not yet, unfortunately. I mean, I wish I... I'm not just saying this. I'm not, I don't have like an NDA or anything. I don't know anything. Uh, other than what everyone else knows, so they did two interviews after the teaser trailer. So all we know is that it's going to be more Darkest Dungeon, which probably probably means continued turn-based strategy combat with imperfect people. Um, Hong, thank you for the subscription. Thank you, Hong. I appreciate it. Thank you for using the Twitch Prime here. It counts as a tier one. Like, it financially supports the stream to use the Twitch Prime, so... Thank you, Hong, and, uh, also... Furtive and vulnerable. Rats in a maze. Welcome to the Sub Club. Bring out the love and sandwiches. Thanks, Wayne. Uh, the only other thing is that they also kind of mentioned, uh, in passing a little bit, how they don't want to have as much micromanagement. And it feels to me what they were referring to is the town. And judging by the characters in the pre or in the trailer being out somewhere and there being a mountain and the ancestor talking about uh, how this is kind of, or they actually mentioned it, how it's kind of spread out into the world. Uh, it sounds like there's gonna be less man town type man management. So maybe there'll be like a out of, out of dungeon camping situation or expedition, I don't know. But right now, it's all kind of just uh, theory. So we're going to get the 30% additional scouting. We got her 10% crit. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use Therapy Dog. And we might get Nighttime Ambushed. But uh, I'm okay with that overall. Hopefully we don't, but... So, Mountains of Madness, yeah. Evolve on its own in some ways. I wonder if we'll come back to the Hamlet at all. The Light. The promise of safety. I don't mind the town. The town... I don't mind that management aspect of the game. I think that's a major part of it and one of the ways that you can make your run a little bit more unique or min-max your run even more if you want to go that kind of route. Like, uh... Beyond measure. It's also like a nice, like, decompression type thing, right? Like. like, no matter what happens in the dungeon, you know you're going to go back to the Hamlet. You know you have that weak... Yeah, you might get invaded by Vol for some other you know, bad town event, but you know you have a sort of safe haven, even though it's sketchy, to go back to and uh, help you recover before your next dungeon. It's like a, a downtime moment. I think not only is that a good thing in life to have that kind of downtime, but in, in everything, like there needs to be peaks and valleys, right? So I'm glad it isn't just like 
dungeon, 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 you know? As much as I love the combat, and I mean, that's the main draw to, of the game for me, is the combat and the challenge. Like, uh, I like the town aspect. It seems like the... I don't know if this is the only place they're getting it from, but some of the negative reviews that the game has gotten is that there's too much downtime, it's too slow-paced, it's too grindy, you have to get your your town all leveled up, and you have to get your characters leveled up. Like, there's a lot of negative reviews like that, and I just hope they don't cater too much to the negative reviews, because the game is mostly positive. Dungeon, 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 mushroom, mushroom. Yeah, exactly. Uh, these are both dead, so. Uh... We messed up for a while, full time, occultist healer. It's too stressful. <laughs> so you don't sacrifice customization. I'd be I would be fine with even more min maxing. Like the thing about Darkest Dungeon is you don't have to min max to play or win the game. Like you don't have to do so. It helps. It makes it easier, of course, but uh, I like that you can beat the game on Blood Moon you, you know using mostly lepers for damage or using no lepers for damage, you know? So, uh... The other main complaints about the game from a... from a review standpoint... People complain about the RNG so much. Which I also think isn't fair. Like, if you go on Steam and you sort it by negative... There are like all these people that have played the game for like 15 minutes, 40 minutes... 30 minutes, they're like, this game is just completely RNG. It's not fun, you just have to get lucky, that's it. It's the only thing it... It's like, um... The wounds of war okay. can be healed. So you got the stress cast first. Uh... Hmm. This one can cause disease, these ones can do big damage, and this one is already buffed. I guess we'll try to take out the disease carrier first. Now, this grouper can only hit one of the back two because of his position, so... If he would have been in position two or one, I would have hit, stunned him. But we didn't have to worry about him hitting her to death's door this round. No disease. Okay, that's dead. Good. Good so far. Okay. Um... So next round, these two are going to be able to gang up on our Hellion. So let's stun this one and hopefully kill position three. Granny, if you get one or two wipes in the Darkest Dungeon, it's getting your roster back to having a bunch of level six is effort. Well, for me, that's why I try to tell people is like level the whole thing evenly. But I don't know, for me, like, I'm glad the game takes all that time. Like, if you enjoy doing it, I guess for some people, they're just, they're only trying to beat the game. Now, maybe that's like a problem in general with, uh, with gaming recently. I don't know. It's been, I mean, I've, I've been the same way about some games. Like, I lose sight of the game itself because I'm trying to beat the game. If that makes sense. I think maybe a lot of people do that with Darkest Dungeon. The that cuts um, its own. A lot of, a lot of people seem to be about destination rather than journey. But I've kind of went back to the the journey part of it myself. Anyway, I'm not saying either way is wrong. It's just for me, I like that leveling the whole roster evenly, um, taking things slowly, trying out different things in the dungeon. Of course, I like these challenges too. Decimated. Same. Five hundred hours. Dark Souls. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. I mean, I have hundreds of hours in Dark Souls too, but I don't think Dark Souls is RNG. Dark Souls is much less RNG, but it, that's a completely different kind of game. That's mechanical. Dark Souls is a mechanical. This is pretty much pure strategy. Any game that has roles in it is going to have some RNG elements, you know? Like, there's just... Even if, even if there was no accuracy in every attack had a 90% chance to hit. Um, if every single attack had a 90% chance to hit, no matter what, 
for everyone. There was no accuracy in the game to increase it, nothing to decrease it. You would still get, just because it's a roll, it's just, it's just, you would still get a chain of, of misses or, you know, the enemies would get uh, maybe not miss for a very long time. So, I mean, there is RNG in it, but it feels like to me, especially if you're playing through the game uh, as it's supposed to be played, so to say, you can overcome any RNG in the game. I think a lot of people quit before they figure out how to overcome the RNG, though. I'll have a pretty quick... percent, Yeah. Dark Souls, I think, is completely mechanic-based. Same thing applies to Mario. Hey, Lobo. How you doing, Lobo? Irrational. Um, double... Guardian fight. Like I said, these guardian fights are what we want to see. We should be able to recover on this. We'll kill everything aside from one of the guardians. Take out the stress cast first. Do you think they should add a crit miss? We're on a crit miss. You could hit your own team. I don't I don't think that, but they kind of already added something like that with perfectionist, right? So with perfectionist, if you uh if you miss and you have perfectionist, they take stress. I think an, an interesting system, and again, people that don't want more RNG might not be in favor of this, but I think a pretty cool thing would be if you dodge, you actually um, reduce stress, and if you miss, you gain stress. N nothing quirk or, or trinket based. If you dodge, you, you lose stress. If you miss, you gain stress. I think that would make sense from a mechanic standpoint. I don't think they'll do that, and also it would make it would make my strategy even more overpowered, so. Flexes with a focus. One of those frozen one meat pies. Haven't had them since you were a kid. Still lacking. Cans of chunk cat food and gravy. Ugh. I know which ones you're talking about. Squads. Want to see we recover from this fight. Yeah, I mean that's the important thing too. But you know what I tell people. About recovering. I'd allow it. Hi, do misfortune. Scorpios, welcome in. Hi, do Scorpios. Forever, welcome back. How you doing forever? Um, but I think that would be a good mechanic. So, <laughs> we're gonna alternate stuns. Um, yeah, guys. Thank you for being here. And I know people already told me I don't need to apologize, but I apologize for missing the last two streams. I wanted to stream, but I, uh, I felt like I, I couldn't stream the last two nights and that, you know, if I had forced myself to, it, it would have not been very good anyway, so. Um, gave it to the dog. Anyway, for the recovery stuff, in Darkest Dungeon, any time that you can recover from f for free, you just do it. So we might only have 30 stress, but... That 30 stress can mean the difference between an affliction or a heart attack. Be the difference between a game over or not. Like, just in your life. <laughs> uh, always dodge. Always crit. I'm not sure how, how great that would be for real life, but let me know. Every Monday through Saturday, 8 to 2 a.m. No excuses. Demand Adam time. <laughs> Free is good, noted. <clears throat> Thank you, Raish. <laughs> yeah, like I said, there's no, uh, there's no exact parallel. The point of the body says stop, just relax. Well, there wasn't any relaxing, but, uh... I know what you mean. <laughs> Thank you, Phoenix. Uh, Alright, so I'm gonna start stress healing. There I have a master. Everyone else will still just, uh... We'll, we'll kill the Guardian. I'm not gonna... Kill him too slowly, because they can crit just like anything. He can build up bleeds and... You know, then crit and really screw us over, so I'm not gonna, like, uh... Risk a death healing on this guy, but... Especially with our Vestal not being a great healer right now. But 
Well, you were down to 18 stress. A gleaming endowment. <laughs> Ivax, more bits? <laughs> Ivax, thank you for the thousand bits. Appreciate it, Ivax. How you doing, Ibex? What you been up to? Welcome back. And thank you again for the bits. I know I just said that like three times, but always appreciate it. So we're down to 18 stress. We'll go ahead and get a little bit more off. Down to 15. <clears throat> If we kill, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, if we kill it, kind of sucks. But if we do, we do. Hey, look at that. Dead. A trifling uh, we can't get a hunger proc here. One, immune two, immune three, nonetheless. immune four, immune five. If we have to go to every room, we can get five hunger procs. So I should try to keep all that food just in case. <laughs> I can't tell. I can hear my daughter in the distance, and I can't tell if she's happy or upset. I think things are alright. Uh, alright, what's our trap disarm? 90% is our highest by a good margin. We'll come back for that chest on the way down if we have more inventory space. I just didn't want to open it and not have anywhere to put it. Uh, man, no scout. No critical scout, and that's going to be gone next battle. Unfortunately. Another another so on the docket tonight, it's quad grouper. Uh, so we need to take one of the front two out, one of the back two to divide up their damage. The front two are more deadly, especially in Apprentice, because Seaward Slash has uh, hits harder than spear fishing. These back ones can only use spear fishing, and it doesn't pull in in this. So I'm gonna go ahead and stun this one. Is it Chandler? <laughs> so on the docket tonight is. Darkest Dungeon, and we do have a bounty, and it's Battle Right, and I'm kind of excited. It's weird. It's weird. The other night, yeah, good, just a three. The other night, uh, we were talking about bounties that I've done that I enjoyed, and ones that I didn't. Our community grows. Charles Retro. Charles, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Uh, we were talking about... There we heal. Our community grows. Basting Quill. Quill, thank you for the follow. Our community grows. Zero through nine, twice, underscore. Thank you for the follow. We're talking about uh, bounties that I've done that I actually enjoyed doing, that I was happy to have done, and uh, that, the ones that I liked the most. And I actually really liked, uh, I really liked Battle Right. Um, now, we only got to play the Battle Right, that, uh, the Battle Royale version of Battle Right, but I actually enjoyed it. And I was like, but we haven't had a bounty come up for Battle Right in like six months. Death and the very next day, I have a bounty for, uh, there's a Death's Door for Battle Right. Um, so good news is nothing else can hit him this round. So he's going to be fine. But. We'll get him off Death's Door. Yeah, no problem, Quill. But you're being here. Four to eight. So if we crit here, we deal 12. If we don't crit, roll top in and get a bleed. He's still alive. Uh, six to 12. We could, we could kill him without rolling top end. The problem is these two can hit both hit the Houndmaster. This one can't kill anyone. These two can Make sure when it needs to be started by. Oh yeah, it's this one's good for like four days, so I don't even have to do it tonight, but I'm going to. Don't get tied to this grouper sandwich. 24% chance to kill that. 19% chance to kill that. This we don't even have to crit, but it's more important we kill one of these. So. Eradicated. <laughs> GG, get him out of here. Now we're safe. We can't die. We can go to Death's Door again. But we can't die. Let's stun this one for next round. Yeah, Cry did. Uh, we missed the Street Fighter V one, which I was kind of excited for. To a killing blow. Love my wife laughing. <laughs> She's not too fond of that.
A gold cup with witty things for enemies for you. The Pinchy Bottom Boys. The Grouper Sandwich. I'll allow it. As if I would. <laughs> Thank you, R Squared. I'm good with that. <laughs> well, we need to recover on this guy. A little bit. Hopefully that stuns. The best Shambler appearance? I know. It's crazy. Still crazy. There was that time that we got three 1% Shamblers back to back. That was pretty good also. Uh, don't kill him. Thank you. Thank you, Steven. What a pal. Crit wrong person. Can't complain, though. Yeah, we recovered a little bit. A decisive pummeling. Two death stores, but hey, we're alive. Uh, you were trying Prison Architect. How'd you like it? I liked it, but I wasn't all there during it because I, had, I don't mean this in a negative way, but right after I started playing Prison Architect is when suddenly the chat was like, we had like 20 people in the chat going, hey, hey, listen, check your private messages. Hey, are you reading this? Can you do a voice impression of Wayne June? Hey, hey. And I was like, what, what? And then for like the next 30 minutes, I was like in awe that, um, that I received that birthday present. So, uh, no, I enjoyed it though. I want to play it more. Uh... I'm actually going to throw that gold down, which is not what I'd like to do, but... Navi? Yeah, I know. That's what I was thinking, too. Hey, listen. You know who's way worse than Navi, though? The beginning of Monster Hunter World? I don't remember her name. Secret Room without the scout! Yes! We're going to get Junia's head in here. You'll see. Metaphor of life. Prison Architect. Depends on how you live your life, Scorpios. Depends. Do you think life is too short not to, like, go for broke? Going full out on what you working towards what you'd like to do? Or are you impris imprisoning yourself in what you have to do? No, there's there's nothing, wrong, nothing wrong with the other. It just depends on what, how you want to live. Handler? I don't remember her name. Right in the beginning. Like, she's really annoying. You're all ears, coach. <laughs> Such wholesome excitement about getting a head, yeah. Sight. Uh, we need to kill this for first where it blows up. I don't know. He's slow. <laughs> I shouldn't take that risk. But I'm gonna. No, I'm not. Yes, I No, I'm not. <laughs> Impressive. You love the handler? Is, is that who she is? The one in the very beginning where, like... I was trying to look at like settings and controls and try to look at things and she's like, you can move the the leaves out of the way to go this direction. I'm like, all right, I get it. And then I open my inventory. You can move the leaves. Hey, hey, you can move the leaves. Okay, I can move leaves. Thank you. Oh, by the way, you can move leaves. Uh, hey, George Lucas, this is the lawyer. <laughs> Three to six. Uh. Monster Hunter Worlds. Hey, George Lucas's lawyer. Welcome back. How's uh, how's it going? Any any cases that you're working on lately? It's real being annoying than her. Yeah, I know, but they made her the the voice of it. Uh oh. Just one. Hey, Power. Welcome back. <laughs> I do Power. What's what's your Am I allowed to ask about your new high-profile case? Alright, he's dead. No need to worry. Uh, I was never worried. You could tell. How's it going, Aryan? You dead too, sir? No, you're gonna go down to one. Let's get healed. Can't talk to you about it? Something about... Slander libel, gotcha. Hmm. Well, let me know how it goes. You will join us or die, master. 
Um, I don't know who you are, anonymous person, but thank you for gifting a subscription to George Lucas Lawyer. Uh, George Lucas Lawyer, welcome to the sub club. Uh, we, we have a special introduction for you since this is your first time here. Wayne, if you would be so kind. Welcome to the sub club. Uh, thanks, Wayne. What about the people in chat? Bring out the love and sandwiches. <laughs> thanks, Wayne. Appreciate that. Alright. The Q. Oh, did we keep that one? Hang on, let me check. Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't keep the Q one yet. That's one that I I was gonna add Arium uh, after I got done messing with it, but then I didn't feel very good, so I hadn't fixed those ones. So the Q isn't one. Just Cletus and Exmos right now. Just Cletus and Exmos. So we're gonna uh, stall on this guy. Cornbread. Complimentary birthday stream cornbread. <laughs> Thanks, Irish account. Now, as long as we hit this one two times per round, doesn't matter, uh, with something that can do damage, uh, he won't call in reinforcements, so we won't get stressed. Now, like I said, he can crit, but he does have one of the lower crit chance, so we're going to hit him with the uh, Abomination and the Vestal mostly, so we kill him as slowly as possible. While getting our stress back down. I mean, there's a cooldown on it, so whenever you guys think is appropriate to spam Cletus or Xmas, you can go for it. Cheater? What am I. How am I cheating? I'm using the in game game mechanics to, uh, to stress you. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and hit him. Oh god, and accepting money to put things in my mouth, yeah. There's a- one of the clips also has where- count me out. <laughs> hey everybody, my name is Cletus. Anybody want some cornbread? It's my hat. <laughs> uh, what's the saying? Oh, there's the one where count me out donates and uh... And I keep asking where he wants it. Where you want it, count me out. Where did you pay to put it, count me out? I just put a party hat in my mouth, it's my wife. Did I say that? Craig? It's Peg Leg Craig. Craig's a long time regular of the channel. I said that. I mean, I never, I never doubt you. It's just, I don't remember a lot of these. Crit. Good night, quotes. Takes five people to summon Cletus or Christmas. Might have cut off some circulation. <laughs> Maybe. Alright, we recovered pretty well. We got out of there with uh, almost full health. Stress is lower than it was going in. Can be felt. They can um... Be beaten. Not ready to take you that yet. So you can use a shovel on this or a dog tree. If you use a shovel on it, you get guaranteed loot. If you use a dog tree, which you don't have anymore, you get a dodge buff. Let's go check this curio. I don't know if I'm going to do that hall battle or not. <sighs> kind of enough to help out with his Cletus hat, please. Oh, she's no, she's no longer in the same room as me when I stream. I mean, she comes in here, you know, and she hung out for the birthday stream. Don't you? The time has come for a medi rave. I don't know who you are, or where you came from, but I'm gonna thank you. <laughs> if you want to let me know who you are, if you forgot to put your name instead of actually doing it anonymously, you can let me know and I'll thank you in person. Or, uh, by name. But, uh, no. Thank you for the donation. W Wayne, one more time. DJ Wayne, everyone. The time has come for a Medi rave. <laughs> Waiting for the t-shirts. <laughs> um, anonymous person, thank you again for the $10 donation. It 
helps tremendously. Um, you've already heard many times. The dream is to do this to support me and my family so I don't have to do the other 35 to 40 hours a week. Definitely helps out. Thank you. Who was you? I figured it was when you said you got it, coach, but I didn't want to pres or assume who it was. Scorpios. Thank you for the donation. I appreciate it. Glad you are learning some very important life lessons here. Dark's Dungeon lessons. They are free, but tips are accepted. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Scorpius. Seriously. Hey, smart one. Welcome. Welcome in. Great. Uh, I'm not going to try to stall against this guy. Like, if we stun him next round, he doesn't die. Maybe I'll get one stress heal in, but... Sorry. Oh, yeah, you did. I, um... I remember mentioning that last week. How's it going? The wounds of war can be healed, but never hidden. Good luck in bed. Try best to not sleep the next ten minutes. Uh, no worries, Cam. I don't take any offense by it. In fact, I I think it's uh, a good thing that people can sleep with a stream and choose uh, to listen to the stream as as they go to sleep and stuff. So all good, Cam. And thank you for the lurk. It will help out. Uh, Tremendously during the bounty. I'm gonna take the risk and eat that food. Hey, yeah, birthday. Hey, Cass. Thank you, Cass. How's it going? Welcome on in. How are you and the Mista Mista doing? So, this has a 60% chance to give a positive quirk. Guys, I'm gonna keep trying for Hippocra Hippocratic. It's like ASMR. Do I need to put the microphone closer the whole night? Full throttle, to be honest. Gonna hit the road for sales meeting next week already. Man, how far do you have to travel, Scorpios? Come on, Hemiel! Hemiel! I mean, you got a positive, but... Photomania doesn't help us at all. Uh, Photomania is really good in full light, so we're not in full light, though. Naked ASMR. Fine lessons of life. Uh, I don't want to get a hunger proc, so I'm going to walk backwards. Here's here's advice for you, Scorpios. If you're out there on, on the road for your uh, sales calls and whatnot, uh, if you feel like you're eating too much junk, if you just walk backwards down every hallway, you won't get as hungry. Uh, because that's how it is in Dark's Dungeon. How was the birthday stream? It was pretty awesome, Kaz. Uh, we had a lot more people participating than la last year, obviously, so we did play some Choice Chamber again. And uh, last year, I looked on the clips, most Choice Chamber votes last year were like six or seven people. Sometimes twelve, like max. This year, every vote on Choice Chamber was like 57 or something. Drive on reverse. <laughs> it's not quite... Uh, well, if you do that, Scorpios, you won't be hungry again. So, uh... Pogo. Oh, and Kaz, did you know about the secret presence? I don't think you did, did you? Did you know about the secret, Kaz? Oh, you must not. I'm not going to play them all right now, Kaz. I'll play them uh, throughout the night, but here's here's an intro for you. Here you go. This is still so... This is so surreal to me. Um, there we go. Shut up, fish. Get your attacks in so I can play this without being interrupted by eldritch horrors. El eldritch what? There we go. Always back to the hentai. All right, here we go. Hey, Adam. Wayne June. Listen, your peeps chipped in and commissioned me for a gift for your birthday. They're true fans, my man. And since I've been lurking your stream for research, now so am I. Happy birthday, buddy. Oh, and tell Cletus I said happy birthday, too. <laughs> Alright, Kaz, I'll play one more. Just because you, you forced it out of me. You won't stop asking me to play it, so I'm going to play it. Yeah, it's Wayne June. It's the ancestor. Uh, 22 regulars of the stream got together going all the way back to January. Kept it a secret and orchestrated this and did not let me know until my birthday. No one let me know. 
Uh, it started with Stuff. Stuff had the initial idea, and then uh, 22 other people were involved. Stuff and Pineapple did most of the uh, correspondence, or all the correspondence with Wayne June. Um, it's crazy. All right, one more. One more. Hey, everybody, my name is Cletus. Anybody want some cornbread? All right, one more. Welcome to the sub club. One second. Yeah? For what? Yeah. A little bit. Uh, as soon as my daughter's out, I'll play another one. All right. Her iPad was charging in here. She's gonna use it before bed. So yeah, there's more of them. I'll play. I'll play them. I know I said I'm not gonna play them all right now, but that was a lie. All right. All right. Here's one of my favorite ones. They're all one of my favorites. Here's another one. The Q is a conveyor belt of death. Good luck. Nice. Sister's house tonight. Feel better. Hey, Tet. No worries. Tet, thanks for letting me know. So I didn't uh, like worry about your something. By the way, Tet, this is gonna be sound weird from the, on the stream and not tied to the Discord. Uh, I think I think it looks better with the hair how it is now. It. <laughs> I say it instead of you. Anyway, Tet. Um, hope you enjoy the time with your sister. No worries. Next. He's Adam, and this. Is Adam versus everything. <gasps> it's a Christmas miracle. By the way, I haven't had time yet, Kaz. I missed the last two streams because I wasn't feeling well. By the way, there's a... Uh... So Wayne, Wayne June watched the information about urinal chicken and this is the results two time urinal chicken champ right here this guy i meant then your profile picture on the discord the one you posted uh Success. looks better to me than the profile picture or is it merely a trick of the light bring out the love and sandwiches the urinal chicken champion. Also, I am the datum. Who's your dream daddy? I am the datum. Welcome to the sub club. It's easy. Just always crit. And always dodge. I didn't say anything bad about the profile. Simple. Picture tet. Alright. It's good for now, right? Who's your dream daddy? No, the urinal chicken thing is not from uh, Dream Daddy. If that's what you're the one you're talking about. There's your urinal chicken in a nutshell. Thank you, Phoenix. Um, your urinal chicken story is from my life. But the first time it was told was during XCOM 2. Hey, Divis, welcome in. I kind of want to take these, but there's nothing I want to drop for it, honestly. Oh, the Dream Daddy one, yeah. Sorry, I missed that. Yeah, that was from Dream Daddy. So it was, that's where Datum was born. Hacks laden with loot. Possibly the funniest moment. I have that VOD saved somewhere, too. The Datum and the Dream Daddy thing are both from Dream Daddy. Um, you're an old chicken champion. It's from my life. It's going to be in my uh, autobiography. Well my, my memoirs. Shit right there, man. You're an old chicken champion. <laughs> Do I want to go back and open that chest? I guess I might as well, huh? World UCC. <laughs> No, speaking of merchandise, like, I've always kind of felt a little bit weird about that, but uh, it's interesting that you're asking that, or talking about that with, like, Kaz being here, because Kaz has been saying for years, years, God, it almost has been years, Kaz has been saying for over a year that I should get that sort of stuff. It's like, 
I want posters with quotes on them. I want mugs. <laughs> um, I can work on some of that. Oh, the other thing is uh, Lexi, the one that does our emotes now. She does um, artwork for uh, items like that. And you get the full rights to them. It just costs a little bit. A stream of blood. <laughs> Your old chicken t-shirts. Find an interesting free-to-play game, card game, or habit shooter. Isn't pay to win? Kind of like Path of Exile. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna be playing a free-to-play one tonight as the. Uh, um, man, I don't want to drop this. God, I'm, I'm gonna drop the herbs and we're gonna start running the eerie coral. Anyway. I'll, I'll be playing a free-to-play one tonight, Battle Right, that I played a little bit before and actually enjoyed it. It's a arena brawler, though. It's not like a single-player thing. Um, I don't know. Have you ever tried Maple Story 1 or 2? They can be fun. All right. Junia's head. Here we go. What? What are the odds? Battle Royale games. Uh, Euro Chicken T-shirt. Man, that sucks. No head. No head. That's really... That's actually pretty rare not to get a single head in those. Uh, but it happens. Do you want to throw down the shovel? I mean, I don't want to, but... Am I going to? Baby, don't do this at home. <laughs> don't do this at home. We're back, Phoenix. Weird looking heads, yeah. Uh, we could still get one hunger proc. Ooh, full face masks if you're day one. <laughs> like ski masks? <clears throat> yeah, that's what I need. People robbing banks. What aim on there? How you doing, Chobi? Welcome in. Mr. Grumpy Monkey, welcome in. If I missed anyone, I'm sorry. It's not intentional, but welcome back. Even criminals can use for robberies. <laughs> hey look, it's Eerie Coral. So if you use medicinal herbs on Eerie Coral, Carl. You get a random negative quirk removed, but I just threw down the eerie, or I mean the medicinal herbs, of course. Crossover pro product. Yeah, think of all the money we can make. That's a good idea. And we could use them for robberies as well and make literal bank. Alright, last fight. Carl. Plagic Guardian fight, that's good to see. We also surprise them, so we can probably recover before we go home. Probably. Big market in America. True. <clears throat> I don't know, there's probably not that many bank robberies anymore in the United States. I have no idea, <laughs> like... That's just a shart in the dark. And where a sponsor will embroider your name on a few pairs. Um, speaking of that, uh, they they asked me, they were like, what if we send you some? Oh, They're like, people say that our underwear and socks are the most comfortable in the world. What if we send you some products and you can try it out first, and then if you like it, then we can do the sponsorship. I was like, all right. So they're sending me two pairs of underwear and a pair of socks. It should be here next week. <laughs> Uh, Phantasmacore. Phantasma, thank you for the follow. Me undies, yeah, it is. It is. Uh, we're on run 20, and we're on week... 7 or 8? Eight. 8, I think. How you doing, Celica? All robberies done online nowadays? Yeah, that's a good point. The Bacon Man. So I like the Candy Man. Wait! 
If I go fr in front of the mirror in the dark and I say Bacon Man, what is it, five times? Is it five for Candyman? Will the Bacon Man appear? Will he give me bacon? <laughs> Kevin Bacon appears. I think we're on week eight, Celica, somewhere like that. Eight-ish, seven or eight. Thank you, Phoenix. If you think your kids can play now, wait until the apocalypse. That's a good quote. See, that's that's a nice, wholesome quote I can get behind. Time on my schedule to do one of those. <laughs> Welcome back. Your steadfast Crescent. Is greatly appreciated. Crescent an entire year. Crescent, thank you. Bring out the love and sandwiches. Crescent, thank you for the resub. Thank you for the year of support. All those hours spent and lurked hours spent. Appreciate it. Crescent. Hey, there's one of those cr crits. Almost bit my tongue. Your internet's starting to die. Call your internet service provider and tell them, no, I'm watching Adam versus everything. <laughs> Send me more juice. Dropped frames. Wait, no, it's Twitch. Let me know if it starts happening again, I'll reconnect. I would like to not have to do the reconnection, but Let me know. So again, I guess you scared it. I mean, I did a speed test. That's all I did. At five. Oh, it was definitely on the server end. Not for you guys. Excuse me. This is it okay now? The slow death. So... If you put your stream settings on auto, which it, it defaults back to, it connects to whatever server is close to you. And the closest Twitch server to me is Chicago, which is only like three and a half hours away. But uh, it seems like the Chicago server, I don't know if it's like got a, like a, a load issue or something because of how many people connect to that one. But it absolutely seems like the Chicago server, especially on like, uh, the weekends gets bogged down. So, after my computer rebooted earlier, I should have checked before I went live, but I didn't. Didn't even think about it. Hey, Fiddles, how's it going? Do you like crows? I do a power steering, by the way. Welcome in. Larkin. How you doing, Larkin? Saw you come in too. Saw some other people come in while Chicago was being annoyed. Sue Chicago for lost revenue. <laughs> Excellent, welcome back. Sorry if I missed anyone during all that craziness, but welcome back. Uh, we can stress you once. Remember me? <laughs> you say and you don't die? That's kind of anticlimactic. Anticlimactic. Do that. Used to be in two weeks. May 11th, 12th. Super fired up. Yeah. Uh, I'm hoping to do a smaller build for a stream, a second computer, stream computer. I mean, I'm excited about that one, so I can't imagine this monstrous PC that you're building. Deeds! I need deeds. I need deeds. What would, I what would I trade out for these deeds right now? Probably that 750 golds. Good job, Masochistic B. I can't remember if there's a, a chance to get loot out of here with nothing. Hey, look, there is. Let's go home. We did it! We did a dungeon! Odor abates. The things are driven back for a time. But no, I have a really good internet connection. Uh, they just put fiber in our city six months ago or something. So I have uh, a gigabyte download and 250 upload. And I checked those and it all looked good. Look at that. 
29,000 gold, some trinkets to sell, so we got like 30,000 gold from that. Balanced, faded, no negatives. We're now connected to Toronto. Invisible? I was. I was. Um, how many people did we lose? Hopefully they come back. But anyway. Toronto. That's the next, that's the next closest server to me, other than, uh, Chicago. Let's get back in there. Let's get back in there. All right. See what we have out there this this week. Have we spotted bad thing for the lurk? Oh, secret scroll! Hooray! Yeah, haircut. Yes, I got it the morning before. I didn't feel well enough to stream. Hey, doing Ninja? Welcome back. Uh, one of the key trinkets to the early game run. Who do I want to take? Of course, Doc is gone. Doc's gone when you need him. All the food, stack shovels. Three keys, three holy waters, three herbs. That should be enough. Food, shovels, curio interaction. Don't really have much in the way of, uh... Upgrades or trinkets to go through the whole spiel, whatever you want to call it. The mantra. Mastery over life and death was chief among my early pursuits. I began in humility. We named life to play games. My Great guy. Was limitless. Who could <laughs> have divined the prophetic import of something as unremarkable as a twitch in the leg of a dead? Rat? Hey, it's not bad advice though. We can find a way to do it. It's not bad advice. A devil walks these halls. Uh only the mad or the desperate go in search of him. Whoa. Wow. Not only do we get that critical scout, he's only five rooms away. I don't think I've ever had a necromancer that, that close to me. Have you guys ever had a necromancer that close to you? I think seven six or seven is about what it usually is. Five is like, I think the least you can you can have, which is great. Got this. Hope so. Think so. Hacks laden with loot are often low on supplies. <laughs> don't uh, don't drive backwards. Man, we were out getting that mop earlier today. So many people. Oh, come on, Hemuel. Hemuel. So we could have used holy water on that to get rid of 30 stress, but instead Hemuel is like, oh, I'm obsessed with sainthood. So Hemuel decided to get stress on himself. Now if you use it without an item, you can. there's a small chance, things like 33% chance to get rid of a negative quirk. We did not. Just to have this neighbor. Neck Romancer. Man, because of that 30 stress, we might actually get an affliction here. Huh. Apparently they decided to hit Steven instead. I'm going to go ahead and use a dog treat. Because we want to make sure we get through these enemies. They're leaving the queue. 130 ish queue now. My sport at Wittig again. Shh. You're not supposed to look at the VODs, Larkin. <laughs> Larkin, welcome back. I'm sorry, we used to carry dames over back in the day. But the queue got to like 400 people, and every time we lost, it got really got really tiresome to do. So now, you're lost. Maybe you're not dead, but you're lost. Before we walk to the store? <laughs> That's awesome, shoots. How's the weather where you're at? Well enough to walk, apparently. Uh, I kind of don't want to kill it yet, but... Alternate universe. Yeah, exactly. Do a six. Sixty-seven degrees. That's like really, really nice weather. Sixty-seven degrees, dusk time. Perfect. Sounds good. Shoots. Another abomination. Man, we got a lot more stress than we should have right now, but uh, we got a little bit healed up there. 
these nightmarish creatures can be felt. It's 40 there. It was cool here today. Uh, it's been rainy and cold the last three days. 812 named each time kind of sucked. Yeah, it did. It did. It wasn't sustainable either. And it just it wasn't a good thing to do right in the middle of the stream. Drool and Kitty on the lap. Rain cold there too. We really are twinsies, so. Do you have a good Ked shirt? Did you order one online? <laughs> I'm gonna stress heal this whole fight on our Houndmaster. I mean, especially now that the Arbalist is dead. <laughs> well, none of that's happened here. Passion is a rarity in the fever or crew cut. Battle. I think Rakes has long hair, right? So got long hair, Rakes. Maintain the offensive. Need ow, need ow, need. Kitty. Feeling better. A little bit orchestra. How you doing, orchestra? Good to see you. Well enough to uh, try doing a super chill stream at the least. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. <laughs> Thunder is scary, but spooky. There's been, only been a few times that, like, Thunder uh, sh startled or scared me. And it was more, it was a little lightning, obviously, but the Thunder is what actually makes jump. But one time, very early on, uh, in my relationship with my wife, we were going to the store for something. And it was raining kind of slightly. And we were about to walk into the store building and lightning struck in the parking lot, like, right behind us. It's, like, one of the loudest things I've ever heard in my life. Having lightning hit probably, like, I don't know, 75 feet away, maybe. And it makes... There's, like, this smell to it. Like, the air feels weird. Uh, super close. God, we ran in that store faster than... I think I've ever ran in my life. For that, FOMO. Thank you, Orchestra. Arbalist is dead. Not... Arbalist with an I, not with an E. So, enemy Arbalist. Out of nowhere. Entire house, extremely loud. Um, let's kill the bleeders first. Stack in the air. Somebody else? Yeah. It's the toy from Poultry Geist. <laughs> Poltergeist is a creepy movie when I was a kid. I haven't watched it in a long time, but... Oculus and the reform is O2, yeah. Feels really weird. Like, I, I know the smell, right? But it, there's, like, this weird feeling in the air, too. And you get, like, a... There's, like, this split second... Like, less than a second. Fraction of a second before it actually occurs. Where it already starts feeling that way. And then, bam! The lightning. It's weird. Singular strike. But, uh... Yeah. That was one of the times that, and there's one other time in my life where lightning struck really, really close, and both were like incredibly loud, freaky experiences. A decisive public. in a nature, nature freaky, nature you freaky, you scary. That's 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 the phrase. Nature scary. Uh, let's go ahead and get stress off. I I don't know though. He's probably gonna go first. I'm gonna no, he didn't. Don't regret it, because it didn't come back to bite me. <laughs> That's how it goes. Horrors brought low and driven into the mud. Yeah, sorry. Nature. This is the listen to us, so. Uh, this shuffle kind of sucks, but it's, it's not too bad. Like, we don't get our repose set up on round one, which is the worst part of it, but other than that, we're, we're fine. So we might had, uh, if we didn't get shuffled there, we might have been able to get a repost up by hitting it and then it might have hit position one still, and we repost killed it and got no stress. But uh, overall, we're still okay. Ooh, 12 crit heal. Better than okay. Yeah, she's dead. She's dead, so our Houndmaster can stress heal the rest of this. As 
As long as we don't get crit like 50 times of the Arbalist. A devastating blow. Good stuff. So I did play a little bit. Not nearly as much as I normally would with stream, but I did play a little bit while I was off stream. Uh, one thing I did is I started a new game of Sekiro. Not a new game plus, but I was like, all right, the beginning of the game was so difficult. Now that I've beaten the game, let me see what the beginning would be like with the knowledge of how the combat works. Um, and, you know, I'm not the greatest at the game, but I think I got pretty decent at it on the first playthrough, by the end of it. And so, I started the game, and I went and I killed Oniwa and Lady Butterfly on my first tries. <laughs> like, it, it feels so much easier. If only back then I had the experience of playing through the whole game without having played through the full game. Or is it merely uh, let's camp first. Light? Beating Lady Butterfly on the first try after having died here 43 times during the first playthrough was uh, it's a pretty good feeling. And then I stopped playing and went and laid down. Gathered close. Alright, so we're going to buff up for the boss. Uh, sharpen the spear. I didn't actually bring Battle Trance, huh? Clean guns. Uh. Let's do the scouting. Like, maybe we find a secret room still. Therapy dog, that's fine. So there's a 1 in 3 chance we get uh, Nighttime ambushed. Hopefully we don't. But it's... There's not really anything else to use. If I keep going through the characters, eventually they'll have a different move, right? The match is struck. Okay, I'm gonna put this on. Alright, the Houndmaster. Rin's adventure. Okay. Ooh, a 30% damage buff right before the boss. We're gonna put it on the Hellion because she can uh, hit every position. Good dodge on the trap. Alright. Good to go. First boss of this run. This being the run. Run 20. The Clawing Dead. So we definitely want to kill him, obviously. Uh, also, though, you want to uh, make sure he doesn't get to three spawns. If he doesn't have anything to spawn, he'll do his really hard-hitting... Well, stress-wise, he'll do a super stressful attack over and over, and uh, we don't want that. So, dog treat. So, he is unholy and eldritch, and what's kind of interesting is even though he's unholy, he is, he's not bleed-resistant. For some reason. So, he only has 20% bleed-resist. On Apprentice. I don't know if I'm going to worry about those anyway. We might just be able to rush him down. The only downside is we might come out with a buttload of stress. He's already going to be at 34. I'm uh, going to repost back up. So if he summons here... Grievous injury. Hey, look, it's a death's door. Got a garden. <laughs> Strike and lost a spiked collar trinket. Sare. That's why I don't use the... That's why I don't use the tavern. Sorry, Sare. But I, I try not to use the tavern at all. The negatives for the tavern are so bad when they do happen. <laughs> compared to the negatives for the... Um, for the Abbey. Yeah, but on all tavern things, no, not all of them. But all their negatives are, are worse, I feel, than the negatives in the Abbey. The bonus damage from both against him is applied only once. I think you get it both, because I'm pretty sure we tested it with, uh, with human and uh, beast before, and it worked with human beast in the Wardens, so I would assume it works the same way here.
Might not, but uh sedated. Man, we are getting super clear on this fight. Such a terrible assault cannot be left unanswered. Well. Well. Even reanimated bones. Well, in order to see in full light, always seems to be worse. Dead can die again. It's all good, Mike. I mean. It's a Christmas miracle. Rifling victory. Oh, yeah. Mods can just do it, I think, right? <laughs> Phoenix overpowered the rest of you. A type Christmas. I think mods can just do it anyway. Thank you, Phoenix. Two shoes. Uh, yeah, Mike. I mean, I was I was in that point too, and I mean, I still have some really bad runs even in this. It doesn't work. Oh wait, I think it. Uh, I think it saves the number that have been has been done. So your exclamation Xmas must have been the fifth, the next one. Like that caused the fifth, or two shoes caused the fifth. Mods can just do it. Yeah, right. Was it working to count me out? Um, we're just going to head out. I'm not going to risk losing this trink. I don't know, actually. Hmm. Let's see what we spawn. All right. Let's take a look at this shambler. Please don't be a shambler. Okay. It's a risk, I know. It's a risk. Done why? <laughs> no bleed, good, good. Ooh, a dodge. There we go. So now our Hound Master can stress heal the rest of this. Hopefully. Bad miss. Just keep plowing into this repost. I guess that works for me. So if that's the case, we're at two Cletuses plus however many there were earlier. Hmm. Weird how that works. It's the only thing I can I can figure. Getting close, probably. <laughs> no one knows when Cletus is gonna pop up. It's like a jack in the box, yeah. Hey everybody, my name is Cletus. Anybody want some cornbread? There it is. <laughs> hey, we recovered a little bit. We got four food. I'm going to push a little bit. As oh, mount. we also got a warrior's bracer, huh? Distance. Prime in for the Christmas one already. No hunger procs, please. Yeah, we got one stack. Well, not a stack. We have four. We have one hunger proc worth of food. Preemptive Christmas. Is that Christmas in July? Do they? Do, do people? Do places still do that? I think they do, don't they? I remember that when I was a kid. Like we didn't celebrate anything like that, but I absolutely remember, like it'd be summertime. All of a sudden, Rudolph is on the TV. It's like, oh, it's Christmas in July. No, no, it's not. <laughs> Birthday stores in July, so sort of. Hundred percent disarm. So I hear we have Boxing Day in July. Weird. An actual Boxing Day is what? 26th of December? We surprised them. This isn't a great team for us to see, but uh, could have been worse. 
obviously. Could have been a Shambler, something like that. Okay, he's gonna bleed out, which is really nice. We gotta heal her in case she gets a uh, point blank shot. Boxing Day. The airing of grievances. <laughs> Ooh, a good crit. <laughs> he's gonna ask if you decorate your pole. That might come off the wrong way. Man, exact death's door. She's gonna virtue and then die. Okay. She's irrational, so she's not gonna die. She had 21 health exactly. Gasping. Taken over the edge into madness. A 14 crit. Denied. Good. For now. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I probably should have done that. For our George Foreman Grill infomercial marathon. <laughs> Sounds right. As it should be. As it should be. Hey, I have a George Foreman Grill. Works pretty well. Better masochistic in Sudoku? No. Not, not again. Monstrous size has no Hey, look at that, which is vile. Something useful, plus a bunch of gold. Be a uh, if we go this way, we can actually get two curios before we stop. Let's check this curio too, actually. What are you? It's a box. Box. Oh, we're up to eight food now. Hmm. Hmm. Do I want to attempt to battle with her irrational? Probably not. Like, what if I ran into a shambler for real? Whoa, focus, stalwart, and vigorous. And then forever messed it up with irrational. We could have had a full team of virtuous people. Sack is empty. All right, we'll check this curio and then we'll uh, get out of here. Mod. There was no survival message. It's true. Burnt your foot on it. That's just Michael Scott. <laughs> all right. We're good. Are all mods phoenixes? Only 8,000 golds. But we got Sacred Scroll, which is what's important. Oh, our first level three. I didn't. I should have looked closer at his experience. That sucks. Off guard's not good. Cinema media is really bad. Steady's good though. God fearing doesn't matter. Uh, let's go check what the dungeons have for us. Book of Sanity. Hmm. Might go after that too. Depends on who we got. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I might should wait there. Might be okay. Hmm. Book of Sanity would be nice early pickup. It's also the only medium dungeon, so it gives us the most uh, most heirlooms for this week. All right, let's check this out. Uh, New Hound Master. Yeah, we'll take him. It's raining so heavily after it. It's not really been heavy rain here. It's just like constant. Q. So the stream hasn't screwed up any since I left Chicago's uh, server, right? Have we recovered in other ways yet? So Yokuz is in. It's been fine. Is the Deathly Resistance of the Myth message anymore? Just hint bans you. It's not the bot. Um, uh, what you call it's Twitch? Twitch changed it. Twitch changed how timeouts work so that you can't fake being timed out anymore. And that was a bad side effect. His faithful beast. So for now, forged by battle and bloodshed. Back to the number prior to the drop. Okay, thank you, cry. Twilight Dreamer spiritual. I think them too, actually. I'm doing George W. Bush. 
Wolf Harrell had a very good George W. character. That was my favorite Saturday Night Live era. His eyes hold the secrets of a hundred campaigns. Late 90s, early 2000s. Um, no, I'm going to take them. Bush and Bush. Hey, Young Moth, welcome in. So Kaiser is in, and so is uh, Yokaz. He interviews himself? I don't remember that one. <laughs> Might go to the real Darkest Dungeon, the grocery store. Say is the week you know you're able, you're about to stabilize, what percent chance would you say of any of the runs successfully? So usually if I make it to week, week 10 and we have gotten at least one good trinket set, set like uh, a, a, a pair of damage trinkets or a pair of healing trinkets, and we've made it to week 10 and gotten the bank, that's usually when I say things have stabilized. As far as ch percent chance to win, I don't know. Uh, it's still kind of up in the air at that point. We've done Torchless Deathless Blood Moon before, but we never added all bosses to that same challenge. So, I mean, this will be the first time completing it when or if we complete it. Uh, Doc, Hemuel. I kind of want to take Peter, but... To the courtyard? <laughs> Not so sure about that one. Nice, like a presidential debate. Dana Carvey played both Ross Perot, H.I. Bush. Oh, I remember that too. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think I watched it live. I'm almost certain I didn't, but yeah, I know that one too. Ross Perot. I don't know about this dungeon actually. I don't have the team that I really want to take to it. We have to take level ones. Hmm. We very well might be fine. But it'll be a risk. Two level twos, a level one, and a level zero. I mean, I could take Din. Din is actually really good to take, but they're really stressed. So we'd have to super work to get their stress down. I mean, it is the Cove, so if we ran into a Pelagic Guardian, we could do that really easily with two stress healers. Might actually be okay. All right, I think we'll be all right. Everything is fine. Let me check uh, camping, actually. Uh, Zealous Vigil will take. Mule's fine as is. I think I want to take Prey, actually. Possibly Bless. <laughs> the Cold is made in arms, high wind flagellant. Guard and Sire being getting he heals from flagellant. Front row gets point blank shot in. Zero heal bleed afterwards. Ugh. No audio on my way. It's a crazy event called Rubber Ball USA. Someone Google it. This is crazy. Rubber Ball USA. Pineapple. Hello. <laughs> Have fun, Pineapple. I know you can't hear me, but he knows. He knows. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. So we do have double healing on our Vestal, finally. Uh, no how master trinkets. Okay, no class specific trinkets. Um, we definitely want to put protection on our occultist. It's not a lot, but something. Twenty where'd the week go? I mean, I haven't streamed in two nights because I wasn't feeling well. Um, but as far as attempts go, we've lost a lot of attempts in the first three weeks. Sign of the pineapple. <laughs> it is. Stun charm. Uh, speed on our Houndmaster. Melee on our Crusader. Uh, 
All right. I played Darkest Dungeon on Wednesday. Wednesday. Monday and Tuesday I didn't uh, because of story night and then birthday, oh, but I played it on Wednesday rules. and then I missed Thursday, Friday. Uh, Beavis, Beavis, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. All right, guys, I think we're good. We did all night maintenance windows for a few weeks. Sleep. Hours are hosed. Ben. All night maintenance windows. Do you, do you enjoy the work, at least, or? I have no idea. I've never really thought about it. Sure, Wednesday? I don't know. I don't know. Wednesday was the first night I used all the lines. Because I didn't get them on Tuesday night. Uh, stack of herbs. I'd say two holy waters. That should be good. So our upgrades have happened at night. Love your work. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, glad you enjoy it or love it. Love it is a is a, it's a good thing. Not a lot of people get or actually love what they do, so that's good at least. Lar, even though sleeve is screwed up. Uh, so we got food shovels. We got curio interaction. I think we're good to go. Interesting team. Worst two stats lose your trinket with negative effects. Speed and dodge. Out of current uh, trinkets that exist, speed and dodge. For me, anyway. My lofty position wasn't always accompanied. Especially by early on, losing speed early. And there was a time uh, I think it's like a noob trap, so to say. Like so many of the early trinkets get rid of uh, station. get rid of speed. Faithful as the tide, one precocious village waif made it her hobby to shadow my every arrow. About it, but speed is big. It was yeah. Boring then. Troublesome later. The thing early game, <coughs> excuse me, the thing early game too is especially in zero light. You have some characters that have no dodge. So like putting a trinket on your vestal in zero light early game that gives you minus dodge is not going to do anything to her at all. But if you give her minus speed, it will. Feel better, a little bit, a little bit behind. I'm still not a, uh, not feeling 100%. But uh, yeah, wait. Can you explain what this ball thing is? Do you have time to do that? Minus max HP sucks too. It, it does, but here's the weird. I mean, I guess it's not a weird thing. The thing about minus max HP, at least that didn't hit our vestal, I suppose, is like it get it takes away the most health from high health characters, and high health characters. Oh, he stole 1,100 golds. High health characters still have decent health, even with that amount taken away. Low health characters usually only lose like 1 or 2 HP. So, even though minus health sucks, it feels like it balances out a little bit because of of the percentage. Oh, a secret room! Are we going to get Judea's head? It's good seeing Darius Dungeon streamers. Well, I would hope I would know a little bit of what I'm what I'm doing, Beavis. Thank you. Um... I appreciate it. I mean, I've streamed Darkest Dungeon for over 1,800 hours, and we've done a, a other world first challenge and beaten the game on stream, you know, 17 times or so. But, thank you, Beavis. It's not a good start. <laughs> Usually, the last HP comes something really nice. Hey, Rakes, it just starts, it started raining hard. I'm gonna go after that uh, secret room now. If Junia's head's in there, it'll be amazing. Or Barristan's. I would take Barristan's head right now, too. Don't really want Dismas's head, speaking of minus health. Three groupers. Could've been worse. I really wanted a Plagic Guardian fight. Ooh. Good miss. How do, by the way, Ankh? How's everything going on your end? Senor Low, welcome back. How you doing, Senor? I'm actually going to stress heal this whole fight with our Hound Masters, which is really dangerous. Look, minus three. You gotta be picky when it comes to head. Okay, we're going to stun the middle one. Or it's going to dodge. We're going to stun the middle one. 
giant weird fetish. People dressed up in insane outfits, fashion show and party. Gas masks. Masks. You're a sponsor. Just in a suit. So. <laughs> hmm. I think I'm gonna go ahead and kill one of these. I'm not actually. I'm gonna stress you again. Good. Cody has feel like going into fourth year knowing way less than you should. Manage to learn enough over three to four months, hour or so a night. Go ahead and stun as many as we can. No alert. What are you talking about? There's no alert for like a resub unless you hit the share button. And if you don't see the share button, you have to refresh the stream. If that's what you're talking about. It's brother. See your leaf <laughs> part of province? I don't know, man. I'm gonna go with a with a probably yes. Okay, crit. It's way all the fame. I mean that's how that's how it's been. So Senior Low, if you did a resub, I appreciate it, or if you did anything like that, but it doesn't tell me because some people do prefer to not have the fanfare, so to say. So um, if you do ever wanted to do the alert, you, often you have to refresh the page and then you have to click the share button above the chat. Force it and restart if needed in case a dungeon goes down the drain. Stress wise, for example, you can ban it normally. It's a good question. I mean, I guess it's not like super weak specific. It's it's how well we are in other areas. I mean, if I was on like week eight, you know, if I was on like week eight, let's say, like now ish, and we are maybe barely on track for the bank, we haven't gotten any hound masters. We don't have any good trinkets, and then a dungeon goes badly, and I had to abandon it. I might just scr just scrap the run and start over, but I don't know. I guess it just depends, like I said, on uh, how the run's going overall, not necessarily what week it is. Now, at a certain point, obviously, probably like past week 10, almost regardless of what's going on in the run, I would probably continue... Aside from a death, which would end the run. Hopefully that makes sense, Larkin. Destroy them 12 damage destroy. apprentice, I know. Can you believe I'm trying to recover against three groupers? What kind of crazy person does that? It's working though, it's working because we have so many friggin' stuns. Your steadfast hey, loyalty. There it is. Appreciated. Listen, you're low. Thank you for the resub. Eight months. All the fame is mine. Also, keep up the great work. Thank you, Senior Low. I have something for you. But you already know. Welcome to the sub club. Oh, another miss? Man, Bladed Wolf is missing everything. Bring out the love and sandwiches. It does. Yeah, I mean, it just depends on how the run's going, I guess, is the, the short answer, Larkin. City Rolo, thank you again for the continued support and uh, for being part of that, of course. Here is the Q again. Exclamation Q, and the bot will whisper you. Annihilated. Good crit. Man, we're actually recovering on this guy. This is crazy. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, who would have ever thought that two healers and two stress healers can recover? Sandy looking. Hey, Snowblind. It's going okay now. We had some uh, server problems with... Uh, Twitch Chicago server and had to restart the stream, which is unfortunate because it means I lose a lot of like the hosts and auto hosts that we've accumulated. Um, I'm still not feeling 100%, but things are okay, Stoblai. How you doing, Stoblai? Senor Low, uh, I remember naming someone after you, so you're either dead or in this run, but I can't remember which one. Sorry. But I remember typing your name in. <clears throat> That's true, Laru. <laughs> we are going through a lot of... Uh, some, would, some might say of the queue. 
The Q is a conveyor belt of death. Oh no, I cut him off before he said good luck. Sorry, Wayne. Hey, new Jeanette. Uh, just the letter. That's fine. You did the lightning. The bot will whisper you. You have to check your Twitch whispers to see uh, where you are in the queue after you do it. And uh, if you're not in the queue but you have 10 hours in the channel, you can type exclamation join to get in. Mark, leave it there. God, just snowblind. Snowblind. I haven't been able to do very much the last couple days, but I do intend to send you uh, these sound files. Um, but yeah, the last couple days just not been great. So. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use the hound treats here. Dog treats where we end up throwing them down. Also, um, I'm not going to use them on the siren. It's too risky. Three to six, huh? Uh, we gotta roll two damage. Their formation is broken. Now that I'm thinking about sound effects, we a very loud sound only Adam could hear. It's triggered randomly. A certain number of bot commands have been used. Well, that sounds evil. <laughs> Let's not do that. Uh, will I go to court? Yeah. We're gonna do all DLC, all bosses on this run. Not worried about the court at all, but yeah, we'll do the court. Uh, I'll probably open the court in around week 25-ish. 25-ish. Need a lawyer? <laughs> Not that courts. Hopefully. Hmm, a lawyer, you say? I heard that George Lucas's lawyer is pretty good one. Maybe I'll see if I can get him on board of the stream. Think he'll think he'll represent me? God, I want to kill this so we don't get more stress. As the it's risky, though. Falls. Give you my card. Thanks, George Lucas. Awesome. Lawyer. It sounds evil. It's an idea after all, isn't it? <laughs> i work on some music this weekend. It's no rush. Plug the clips in later. Play with them. It's a great. If not, still work on some. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Snowblind. I think it's a pretty awesome thing. I feel like so lucky uh, on how the stream has become, or like how the stream has developed over the last couple years. It's crazy. Good crazy, obviously. Alright, I'm gonna stall this round. It's a little bit risky, but we should be okay. Should. I mean, a Crusader could die. That's all it would take. Crit here with a bleed. He can crit them to death's door. I have more chance to work on it. Oh yeah, no, 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 no worries. No worries, like I told you. Sincerely, like, uh, I know it's... It's, uh... It's an extra thing. It's, it's something you're doing, um... On your own free will and your own spare time. Not getting, like, paid for it or anything, snowblind, so... Um... I am in... I'm excited, but in no, no, no rush, because I, you know, understand those things. God, I'm gonna stun this guy. Or, we'll just kill him. That'll do. And give him your best elevator pitch. Too late, he's already given the card. What spare time you speak of, yeah. <laughs> if I find you, I'll let you know. Let you know how I came about it. Uh, God, I'm gonna stall this round too. So that was a half stall, right? So we might get yelled at. But they shouldn't give us stress from it. Start of a collection. Man, if you can collect time from people. Sign me up. Alright, we re recovered some more. It's good. How much bleed is that? Just one point. Ah, he's fine. We got plenty of food too. 19 health. Yeah, he's okay. It's fine. It's fine. There's a movie about that. Time is a currency. In time. I don't think I've heard about that. It's kind of interesting. I like that idea. 
With Justin Timberlake? Hey, speaking of Justin Timberlake, soon it's going to be May. Throw down the antivenom. I'm going to throw down the dog treat. It's a good movie. I like the idea of it. The premise sounds pretty... Pretty good. Double stress caster again, man. This shuffle's not great. Like, this team is relatively shuffle-proof, but I mean... We don't want our Vestal position too. is the main thing. Surprisingly good. Uh... It's gonna bleed down to one. God, I hate that. Now we gotta kill it. Kill, kill. Um, we'll go ahead and stun the Guardian so he doesn't protect the Shaman. Hopefully our Houndmaster can take it out next round. It's kind of a crapshoot if it happens though. Call the Deep. Alright, now the Brawler is super buff. Man, maybe I should have brought the Mark for these situations instead. Hmm. Oh well. Shoulda, woulda, coulda, didn't. Two damage. Oh, he crit him? Oh, no bleed. It survives the one. Uh, like two movies, like him better as an actor than you thought he would. I didn't even realize he had... I can't even think of anything he's been in. Move her back, even though that... So now this guy's buff and he's also... guarded. <laughs> They're getting healed now too. Hey Talos, how's it going? Welcome on in. Hmm. We'll heal there, just in case. We don't want this guy to crit. We will stun that off, and our Hound Master can take out the Shaman. Unless he misses. Got him. Hey, Kratos. Welcome back. How you doing, Kratos? In time moving, he was also in a movie with... Uh, Myla Kunis. Called Friends of Benefits or something. Hmm. I did not know. Uh, he's pretty stun resistant right now. This one is not... <laughs> I think that's how it's spelled, Kai. Hugh, 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 Hugh. Pretty decent for a rom-com. I don't usually like romantic comedies either, but there's been a few that I really like. Uh, I don't know if you would consider this one or not, but... Uh, God, what's the name of this? Holy crap. Why can't I think of the name all of a sudden? Like, I was literally about to say the name. Hey, Steve Asaur. Oi, oi, oi. How's it going, Steve? Welcome in. In Q, the other letters aren't silent. They're just waiting for their turn. <laughs> so as long as we hit this one at least twice per round, he doesn't call on reinforcements, so that's what we'll be doing. Try to keep him stunned, kill him slowly, so we can recover. That Just Friends movie was pretty decent. That's not the one I was... There's not very many romantic type movie, movies that I like very well. That one was alright. And uh, what was another one? God, I can't remember it. It'll come to me later when we have... We're not thinking about this at all anymore. 94 more restarts. God, I hope not. <laughs> Masterfully executed. So I really liked them. I do a City of Angels. Um, can't remember the one I'm thinking of. It'll come to me. None of you, none of you, will be listening at that point. <laughs> that are in this conversation, you're like, that was the name of that movie. What a man! We are critting like crazy with our stun moves. It's awesome. So we've hit once this round. We just need to hit one more time. Uh, we'll hit here. Holy crits. Can't understand anything in this game. 
I mean, I, if you have any question tells, I don't mind uh, answering things, even if I've done so previously. So. so at the moment, we're trying to kill this slowly. And the reason why is because he has a low crit chance and we can keep him stunned quite a bit. So if I kill him slowly, uh, we can use that time to heal our team. We can recover. I am the wiki. Almost. I know a bit. I know things. I play Darkest Dungeon and I know things. Hey pig, how's it going? Compassion Slowly, gently. This is how heal is taken. Hey dude, Minch, welcome in. Team Cotton for Endless Harvest. Uh, yeah, so what is your, like, goal? Is your goal to get as far as you can? Or is your goal to get through the sleeper? Like, it depends on what your goal is. If you're trying to get as far as you can, it's usually better to take a team that might be a little bit riskier early on. 300 plus kills. Okay, this might sound weird, but one of the easiest teams to go really far, 300 plus, is a team that bases all of its damage around a transformed... Um, transformed Abomination. So, Abomination, Occultist, Plague Doctor, Jester. Believe it or not, that's the team that currently holds the record for the furthest, including using uh, the update that has Reflections. So, basically, the goal is to... Not work anymore? No, it doesn't work anymore, unfortunately. They patched that out. I blame myself and Claire for that one. Um, so, the reason that team is so good is you can get the Abomination to where Rake literally like can kill the front two almost irregardless of what they are. So, Rake buffs itself. The Abomination's uh, crit buff is additional damage. So, you get his damage really high and his crit really high. Now, if you're trying to go super far, there's some things that the main things that end runs, the end good teams, one of them is a disease. So you can take a really good team at killing the first, like, killing through the first, like, 200 or something. Like a, um, it's a good example. So, like, if you took a double shield breaker team, double shield breaker, like, shield, double shield breaker, uh, Jester Vestal can make it several hundred. But eventually, eventually, no matter what, that team will succumb to disease. If nothing else, disease will get them. So if you want to go super far, you need a character that can get rid of disease. So you need either a uh, Plague Doctor or a... Hey, Klepto is finally gone! Plague Doctor or a Grave Robber. Grave Robber is a little bit scary to use in there. So, and you need stress relief. And you need healing. And that leaves you with one primary damage dealing position. And the, the best one to put in that position... With the right trinkets, I think, is the abomination. The other thing you want to do if you're trying to get as far as possible is you want a virtue cheese. So early on, um, generally, if you can, before you even get to the miller in Endless, you want to get four virtues. And that makes it much, much, much easier. Um, so, like I said, you can use double shield breaker. Shield breaker is great in Endless. Like, they can hit every position, you know, she bypasses armor, she bypasses, which is a big one. Uh, she bypasses protection, I guess I should say. And she also uh, breaks guard. So she's really, really good in there, but she will eventually die to uh, disease. And in addition to that, her top end damage isn't super high. So I, you can probably make it to 300 with her, but uh, I would say, as long as you don't get diseased. It's a little flagellant. So. Can't go along with the statistics. What you mean? We're in a group of atoms. So. Huddled together, furtive and vulnerable, rats in a maze. Hi, Neil. Welcome in. Um, we don't really need to feast. I'm going to. Might as well. We have the food. So, the Siren, we don't want to buff our damage, because if they take them, it'll help them. 
Too much to reach for your brain. I gotcha. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I went into that. So... We'll probably use Zealous Speech. And pray. So Zealous Speech, um... Prevent Night to Ambush. It's fine. I'll do pray for the extra protection on everyone. And, uh... We don't need the scouting. We already found the secret room, so... Therapy Dog? Darkest or Blood Moon? Blood Moon, yeah. I don't... I, don't, I haven't played on Darkest Difficulty. I can't even remember the last time I played on Darkest Difficulty. But yeah, Torchless Deathless Blood Moon is the challenge. So Hardest Difficulty, no light, all DLC, all bosses, no modded content, and uh, if we get a single death at any point at all in the game, we start over. Uh... The way is lit. The path is clear. All right. Require On to the siren. To follow it. One fight first. Both of these stinger these stingers can give disease. So they can give any disease other than sky taint. As long as we don't get diseased in this fight, we're okay. Shuffle really sucks though. Our hound master getting shuffled to the front. Um, I don't have cudgel on him right now. Glass shards on my chair. <laughs> That'll be the next challenge. Add physical, <laughs> physical things to it. Obliterate. No deaths, and every time you get a get an affliction, add another piece of glass to the chair. I did shingles. Oh god, that was terrible. Snails give disease too, but so do stingers. Stingers give disease as well. Strange trees. So. You have to watch out for disease from stingers and from the, the snails. Uh, let's see. Highest accuracy move, and it missed. 83%. Alright. Disease cares are done. The snails can give any disease other than sky taint as well. But uh, stingers can too. Look. Don't see a snail. Maggot, a sea maggot chitin. Crit. They're snails. A momentary abatement. All right, we're now full health, no stress. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzy. Uh, we see that we can use herbs over there. I mean, I guess I could drop the key. There's no curio. Hold the line. This hamlet shall not fall. He's Adam. Hey, recurring fear. He's Adam. Recurring fear, thank you for the. Thing. Thank you for the host and the raid. Recurring fear, I appreciate it. Those of you coming in, welcome in. Uh, I'm definitely not playing WoW or um, Here's the Storm. But the Dark Dungeon is a very good game. It is a very different game from those two things. But if you have any questions about the game, let me know. Uh, it is a turn-based roguelike game with a lot of stress in and out of the game. Uh, I've streamed it a whole lot, so if you have any questions, feel free to feel free to let me know. The cells are 1100. We might actually use it. New hard drug. <laughs> New sound clips. Yep, yep. Birthday present. How you doing, Recurring Fear? How did your wowing go? Did you do any heroes today? Um, man. I mean, there can definitely be a blockage. I would hate to throw down the shovel and run into one. I guess I'll throw down the medicinal herbs. We already got rid of uh, klepto, which is the main thing we want to get rid of. Yeah. Two jades. What are the odds we get two plus more jades? I'm gonna I'm gonna try it out. 
Back some chill while. Had a tough day at work. Do you want to tilt yourself? Heroes got you. I understand that one. Okay. So we're not going to be stressed you looking here. So I'm going to get Blackjack on there in just case we get shuffled. And time to fight the Siren. So the Siren got changed back color of Madness came out. Uh, her Song of Desire used to roll against debuff resist. It does not anymore. She ever bust. Oh, bad miss. Good side R. So Song of Desire just has a 70% chance to hit now. Hey everybody, my name's Cletus. Anybody want some cornbread? <laughs> Thanks for summoning Cletus. Appreciate it. You guys getting primed again. There's a 10 minute cooldown, but you can get it primed and ready. Anyway, it's a 70% chance now that Song of Desire hits. Um, also, she used to always target the lowest uh, debuff resist. She doesn't do that anymore either. Doing alright overall, Sina. Still not 100%, but doing okay. Do not threaten my queen. Ugh. Man, it's raining hard out there now. I think I don't have the window open this time. Taking our Vestal. All things considered, that's probably the best right now. <sighs> we came with a much different team than what I usually like to bring, but... Hopefully I don't regret it. So we're going to no death? Of course, of course. How you doing, coders? Welcome back. Until we get it. Working on it until it is achieved. Divine Grace! Come on, who are you? Who is this Vestal? Man, we're getting so unlucky against the Siren. What in the world is going on? Someone killed her! Eat. game you have not completed just this one well I mean there's other challenges self-imposed challenges too but this is absolutely the hardest one all right good thing you get stunned this time you can actually get a, a round in on it hopefully saw only three heroes on your side nearly panicked oh it happens every time Dylan yeah <laughs> I'm Dylan Use the headbutt attack. Oh, she's taking the Crusader again. Not resisted any of those. A nine. Could've been worse. I mean, out of the things that she can summon, that's actually not all that bad. At least it's not a Plagued Guardian. That you can talk about with you two? No. Uh, they haven't sent me anything. I doubt they will send me anything. They might send me like an early release key or something when that happens, but I don't expect anything else. Show who's boss. I'm trying, man. Much for love, consider Sailor Moon under the helmet confirmed. So. He's the one named Sailor Moon. I mean, I don't know that song. We got it first. Would you try something else? I don't think so. Joe Joe tells me that he's not trying to do the actual, like that he's not gonna go for no deaths if he gets to Dark Dungeon Four and has no deaths. Yeah, right. Yeah, right, Big Joe. It's the worst we've done against the Siren in forever. Like, I, I knew when we went in, I mentioned that this wasn't a great team for this, but I tried, was trying to force it for the trinket reward. Might end up regretting it. So I desire. Can we get 30% resist, please? Hey, crit, that's good. Look at your channel, but it's good to see you feel better. Hey, thank you, GT. 
Seventy percent. How much business every seventy percent? So, goes that way. <laughs> You're gonna unfollow him. <laughs> it's all good fun. Uh. <laughs> Devour. It's a crit. So we're getting close to afflictions or virtues, which make this much worse. Judgment. At least judgment is a pretty weak hit and also heals them if she's damaged at all. I mean, we were so close on uh, run four. It's kind of crazy thinking about how long ago that was now and how close we really were. And died on a fight that I didn't even need to do at all. Whoa. All right. Here comes our first virtue. 25% chance. Hey. <laughs> I mean, I'm, that's not surprising. I called that. You heard it. Not today. Take it. Salt and gouge. It's all right. What you doing, Vestal? It's all right, too. We did it! Matriarch, vile queen of the aquatic depths. Four virtues are coming. Luckily, we don't have to. We don't have to figure that out. 